Okay, she's, she's loud. I've been talking to her. <laughs> intelligent looking people know what a narcissist is. This is some fucked up shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> now what makes it so bad is I just got a hearing aid after being deaf for 38 years. So this is really fucking with my hearing aid right now. <laughs> like, do I hear me? Do I hear me? Because I'm a narcissist. I'm not concerned if you hear me or not, okay? So I'm, not, I'm a narcissist. I don't have a problem with being a narcissist. Like I said, I have four kids, and that's the problem because I have to constantly remind myself to care about them too. Like, uh, it doesn't always work. For instance, uh, we were having a little picnic, right? You know, we're in the park, and they had bologna sandwiches I made at home. I had Subway, because that's how I roll. And fuck it. <laughs> I think that if there 
is a rapist in here naturally, he gonna follow me when I leave <laughs> and, and rape me in the back because you can't kidnap fat girls off the street. So, I'm not concerned about the rape exactly because I've had four kids naturally. I probably won't feel it. But, uh, my problem is I'm worried about the rapist being judgmental. Like, right now I'm wearing Spanx and I got a hole in my panties so I'm worried that if he like get to that part, he gonna shake his head at me and then rape me anyway. Cause now I'm being violated and I feel inadequate. I know. Also, uh, I don't run over bags in the street because I'm always sure that some little teenage girl has thrown away a baby. You know, nobody knew she was pregnant. She threw away this baby. So, I don't run over bags in the street. I once ran over a raccoon in the street. I screamed for 30 miles. So, I'm pretty sure a baby is more important than a raccoon. So, that probably be 60 miles of screaming. Uh -huh. I know, I know. Um, also, I'm afraid of ghosts. I know. Yeah, I'm afraid of ghosts. And I watch a lot of horror movies. That does not help. <laughs> And you always see the kids come in there and say, Mom, there's something in my closet. There's something in my room. And they're like, oh, you're having a nightmare. Go back to bed. I always said I wouldn't do that because I believe in ghosts. If one of my kids came and said, Mom, there's something in my room, I'm packing. So it happened. It happened. My second child, who's an idiot, he comes and he says, no, you'll agree with me after the story. Seriously. He comes and he was like, Mom. I saw a ghost in my room. And I'm like, what, baby? What? You saw a ghost? Oh, we got to get out of here. What happened? Tell mommy what happened. And he was like, she was standing at the foot of my bed, and she kind of looked like that girl on The Exorcist. I was like, baby, are you sure you wasn't dreaming? Maybe you were dreaming because, you know, did you pinch yourself? He was like, yeah, I remember. You know, if you, you think you see something, you pinch yourself to make sure you're not dreaming. I was like, so you pinched yourself, right? He was like, no. I hit myself in the nuts. <laughs> Boy, take your ass back to bed. I'm not thinking for nothing. See, idiot. Oh my God. Okay, so I love Chicago, and I know this is just a suburb of Chicago. I don't know if y'all get offended by that Elmwood. I don't know. But all y'all are Chicago to me. And I love coming out to Chicago. And right now, I would just, you know what, baby, you're going to be my volunteer. I don't need a volunteer. Usually I ask for a volunteer at this point. Okay, so I've been coming out to Chicago doing shows and open mics, and my coochie gets excited when I come to Chicago. <laughs> I take it by the laughter. Everybody knows what a coochie is. Uh -huh. Or at least the white man with the square wire rim glasses. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm fucking up my own joke. If 
you jump, you'll commit whole suicide. And then you'll go to whole hell. Oh, boy. I know. Oh, boy. You cannot imagine the sights in whole hell, Kushi. <laughs> the tunnel probably made a herpes bump. Oh. <laughs> Kushi, calm down. Oh. <laughs> Super gonorrhea is standing at the gate wearing nothing but a cape, and his penis looks like a split cigar. <laughs> I know, Kushi, I know. <laughs> Your daddy's there, he still don't acknowledge you. <laughs> I know. On top of that, it's old men that still want to screw you, but they don't think they have to pay. Uh, I know, Coochie. Not this hood. Not in this hood. I know, Coochie. R. Kelly probably pissing on little girls at the oh, abortion clinic. Yeah. Come on, Coochie, don't do this. I know, Coochie. I know. You want to go buy batteries, Coochie? Yeah. yeah, batteries always makes us happy. And we'll get the good kind this time. You know, the rabbit. Oh, right. the rabbit. You know, all the single girls know what the rabbit is, right? Some of the single guys, too. It's okay. I know, Coochie. I want to go down by the Chicago River and take a walk and feel better about your own older Coochie. I know that always boosts your confidence right back up. I know you've been through so, 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 so much for babies, all natural. You'll never be the same. And Coochie, I know it's been so, so, so long. That is not a joke. I will be accepting dick donations after the show. Okay, Coochie, just please. Coochie, just please. Just come down off this ledge and we'll go walk by the rock. We're not batteries out. Buy another bucket of ice cream. Christmas is coming up. <laughs> and we'll get back to Beloit, Wisconsin, where there are absolutely no dicks you want to jump on, okay? <laughs> All right, now, my name is Vicki Lynn, and wherever I go, I take pictures with people who smile with me, or if I made you smile, you know, just take a picture with me. I know it's kind of creepy when a big black woman comes up to you and says, take a picture with me, because we're not supposed to sound like that. But I promise I'm not going to do anything, anything strange or, you know, creepy to your picture, like masturbate to it or something. I told y'all in the beginning, I'm a narcissist. I'm just going to masturbate to my image next to y'all image, okay? Go take a picture with me if I'm